The beauty of sea trout fishing is that it can be equally as productive at night as during the day. In fact, in many instances, it can be even more productive as well as offering a real challenge for the angler. Given the right conditions, sea trout fishing at night can provide an angler with a special experience, one that can live in the memory for many years. One of the best locations in Kerry for nighttime fishing is the Owenmore River in Clahan. This rugged spate river has sea trout travelling through it from April right through to the end of the season. And night fishing during the summer months can be very rewarding, as fishery manager Frank Monsell demonstrates. This is the Onmore River and we're getting ready for night fishing. Um, your ideal conditions would be a southwesterly wind, the tide coming, um, high water normally 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. You'll have fresh fish running, uh, you'll have juniors and some good sea trout running with them. Typical today, the wind hasn't obliged us, it's coming from the wrong point, but we're going to fish on and see how we get on. Um, your normal flies here will be teal blown silvers, little stork tails, medicine fly, bibios, um, whatever you throw at them, whatever they're taking, that's what we'll use. Fly fishing by night can be much more difficult than fly fishing by day. Some people say it's like fishing with a bucket over your head. What I normally do with people new on the river, I get them to come here and have a few casts during the day and get a little piece of tape and tape it onto the line just as they're reaching the far bank so that when they leave you out the line then by night, when they feel the bit of tape, they'll know that that's as much line as they're going to leave out and they won't be getting caught on the far bank. When you get the take by night, it's the most exciting part of the fishing of all because you never know what's on. You get that sudden take, the line goes down to the bottom. It might be a half pound, it might be two and a half pounds, it could be three and a half pounds. Brilliant fishing. The trout will take you all over the pool. You'll land your fish. You'll just give it a minute for the pool to settle and you're back fishing again in the very same spot and next thing, bang, you're into fish again. No need to change your flies. All you want is not too many false casts. Just lift and cast, lift and cast so there's no flashing over the pool. Let it swing around, let it swing around. Just lift and cast again and just let it swing around. It's a small pool, but they're normally full of sea trout. And when the fish are fresh in, they're just waiting, they'll take anything. We normally fish a black and silver fly or maybe a fly with a bit of blue in it. They say that fresh fish in like a blue fly, just as I say, lift and cast, lift and cast. Patience always pays off. I'm into a fish now with about two pounds, two and a half pounds. He's taking me down along the pool. I'm going to be very careful with him. Good, strong fish, fresh fish, putting a good bend into the rod. Gone again. I was trying to get him in on the gravel below. I don't have a landing net with me, it's up on the bank, which is typical. Never have it when you need it, but we'll manage him okay. Nice fresh fish, good strong pull and great take. Great, good fighting fish. We're in him now about five minutes with the light gear. We're getting ready now to bring him in. As I say, I want to get him in here in the, out of the current. But he goes, here we go. When you're at the night fishing here, on a nice soft balmy night, when it's dark, normally we say the same of the year, about half nine, ten o'clock, you'll get a run of sea trout, the, small, the, the smaller fish take for maybe an hour, an hour and a half. And then if you give it a break for maybe an hour, two hours, you'd, go, you'd concentrate on the bigger fish. Um, we would move up along the river then because they would have moved up from here and they would lodge in the bigger pools. What's happening here is that the sea is just below us, maybe 200 yards, and the fresh fish run up here, they lodge in the pool here and the pool above it, and then after a while they move on. As I said, the first take lasts for maybe 40 minutes, 50 minutes. It dies down, you wait an hour or two, and then you go on and you, and you fish on then late into the night. Um, that, would be the, that would be the typical sea trout fishing here. The small fish take in the, in the, in the, in the first take, and the bigger fish then are more inclined to take late at night.